So hello guys, I will continue to another day of trading. Today I'm gonna show you my positions. So here I shorted uh, ES because this is a very great example of Delta Slingshot. Here you can see the three candle pattern. Uh, when we go up with a strong delta, then a divergence, and then down with a pretty strong delta. That's where we are uh, looking for delta slingshots. And here we can see this is the nicest example of uh, trap buyers I could uh, ever give you because here you can see zero buyers. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, zero sellers. So sellers weren't even present at this level. And buyers were buying and they got trapped. So they got stop losses uh, around, you can see here. Or here and they got trapped and uh, sold a position so they added to the sellers and they uh, pumped the price down here I will look for potential closing my position I will go for it now. Um, and now I'm gonna tell you why because Delta is slowing down as well as we are uh, tapping into five minute equilibrium that could uh, potentially tell us that we are going up because my daily bias is uh, bullish because here you can see that we are still turning up and we didn't close uh, below this candle. So uh, daily bias is uh, up. Four hour is kind of bearish, but uh, for me, the most important uh, daily bias is one day chart. One hour, uh, this was uh, pre-market and we jumped right back at the market open and now we are uh, chopping back. So this is uh, giving us no information. And at the 15 minute candles, uh, we could see break to the upside on the market open. So that's why I, I took some longs uh, around here and close it uh, on this top of channel and overnight high. Um, today, it was the pretty much the best setup you could ever get because as you can see, I highlighted uh, here overnight lows and overnight highs. And uh, in the pre-market, as you can see, 15.10 and 15.15, we swept these lows to grab some liquidity uh, here and then we rallied up at the market open everyone was buying and now uh, we are looking to close this fair value gap as well as this equilibrium so i think we are gonna stop around here and go long so i am now looking for uh, longs i'm gonna also tell you the other trade i took because this isn't my own account but i cannot uh, show you on the Mini yes, but on the ES. So I'm gonna just switch it to ES. Uh, sorry, guys. Yes. Yeah. And here should be my entries. Uh, maybe the analytical chart for just yeah, it uploaded right here. So I also trade on my twenty one account. Uh, here you can see uh, actually. Oh, it's kind of bug, but I entered around here because of strong delta, delta divergence, and market opening, and exited right here at the imbalance, as I was at my daily uh, goal, so I didn't need to make more money, and that's just when I stopped trading. Also, I trade on my 50k account, but I closed the trade pretty early as I thought I am early in the market. So I closed it here and uh, because of the delta divergence and told myself that I will continue on my other account. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, the long is not looking pretty good right now because we got strong deltas. Because of these trap buyers, uh, I could have stayed in the position uh, a bit longer, but uh, uh, you never know. Now we got these imbalances that would have put us in a trade if we used polarity and we would be in a trend mode. So uh, just because I'm curious, I'm going to highlight the risk and reward on this trade. I thought, I think the trade would uh, get entry here and uh, there would be a, our stop loss and our take profit if we used the OG polarity. So hey guys, that's it, that's it for today. Um, Pretty simple day as we swept these lows and rallied higher and uh, take profit was just perfect on these levels uh, as that was our overnight high. Um, just easy day and uh, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.